Okay, so I needed to give you some tips on how to complete your limit. Once you've reflected the two, you'll need to combine the two. And the way we're going to combine the two is by selecting both by holding down your shift key and dragging over both shapes using your select tool. Then go up to wind Windows, go down to Pathfinder, locate your Pathfinder, and collect, click Unite. If you have anything left over, you have to go in and isolate it. And with your pin minus, minus your anchor points. And then you'll have your limit. In order to add our shapes on either side of our limit, we'll do the following. With our pin tool, we'll make a triangle, fill it with black, go up to objects, down to envelope to store, make with warp, and select a vertical. Hit OK. Lastly, go up to objects and expand to make it back into a shape and hit OK. Now we can move it to our spots and we'll have to rotate and flip here. To do step four, we need to add everything together, adding our triangle with a circle, using the pathfinder and unite, then using the warp arc and making it horizontal, combining the two steps that we previous did. 